And Tuesday, we found out the U.S. consumer confidence for June jumped more than expected. The Chicago Purchasing Managers Index bounced to 36.6 in June versus 32.3 in May, but well below 45 forecast. Canada's GDP plunged a record minus 11.6% in April. The U.K. economy shrank more than it has done in over 40 years at the start of 2020, and that the outlook for the global labor market in the second half of 2020 is highly uncertain according to the International Labor Organization. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Wednesday, we'll be eyeing the German unemployment change, the U.S. manufacturing PMI numbers, as well as the FOMC minutes. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair on the four-hour chart as it has broken above the Ichimoku cloud but also hit a medium-term resistance level at 74.67. With this, while we could expect a temporary pullback towards the upper band of the Ichimoku cloud, the general momentum for the pair is bullish with the next resistance level set at 76.6. Will you be buying the Aussie yen pair at the lower levels? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.